Hi, it's Christina, and today we'll be doing an energizing morning yoga routine. So to start out, you'll want to touch your toes together and sit your hips back onto your heels, separate your knees slightly apart, and relax your torso over your thighs, bringing your arms reaching forward, forehead to the mat, come to child's pose, and begin to deepen your breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose, Focusing all of your attention and your awareness, all of your thoughts, focused on your breath. Begin to center yourself, focusing on thoughts that make you feel energized, make you feel awake. Thoughts that will allow you to, once you're done with this sequence, move on to a productive, happy, and healthy day full of energy so that you're ready to take on anything that you need to do. Take one final exhale and then begin to lift your hips up and come into a hands and knees position, bringing your knees under your hips and your hands under your shoulders. Coming into cat and cow, take an inhale and arch your back, tucking your toes, and take an exhale and curve your spine, looking back towards your thighs, untuck your toes. Continue to coordinate movement and breath. Inhale, arch, looking up and forward. Exhale, curving your spine in the opposite direction, looking backwards, untucking your toes behind you. Continue moving in and out of cat and cow, generating warmth, heat through your midsection, beginning to wake up your spine. Make sure that you are articulating through each and every bone in your back as you move through the arch and curve of cat and cow. You keep breathing and coordinating your movement and your breath, waking up your muscles, building heat in your center, in your core. Also working through your feet as well, since you are coordinating with your feet, tucking your toes, and then going back to the tops of your feet on the floor. So you're also really pressing through those toes and stretching the bottoms of your feet as well. Inhale, arch. Don't forget about your hands on the floor, pressing into the ground evenly through all ten fingers. Working that spine. Now take one final exhale in cat pose. Really push up and curve that spine. And then come back to a neutral spine, neutral back. Tuck your toes and straighten your legs into your opening downward facing dog. Begin to pedal through your legs, alternating bending and straightening. You can even lift your foot off the ground and begin to work through your feet as well. And every time you straighten your leg, really slowly descend that heel down towards the floor and work through your feet when you bend that leg, pointing that foot off the ground. Don't worry about alignment for now. Just focus on waking up your muscles early in the morning most likely if you're doing this routine in the morning to energize yourself so just focus on waking up those muscles gently working through take the time now to bend those knees generously and get into those hip sockets find what your body needs this morning if you need to wiggle around to get into your hip sockets and really feel them loosen up then go ahead and do that and once you feel comfortable enough settle into a moment of stillness in down dog and then slowly send your hips down into a plank pose. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Come back into your downward facing dog and begin once again to pedal through your legs, alternating, bending and straightening, lifting that foot off the ground as well to work through your feet. Just focus your attention on your legs right now. Don't worry so much about your arms. And now send your hips back down into another plank pose, holding here for a moment and sending your hips back up into a down dog as you pedal through your legs, adding some movement into those muscles. Starting out slow, don't force anything right now, just move the way your body needs to move to begin your day. And slowly come back to a down dog before you send your hips back down into a plank pose and hold for a few breaths here, and then slowly coming back to downward facing dog, and once again moving through your legs gently, Feeling what your body needs right now. We're just waking up. There's no need to snap or do anything too harshly at this moment. We'll now come into a few Chaturanga Dandasanas to Upward Facing Dog. So come back through Plank. 
Drop into Chaturanga and then press into an upward facing dog, flipping your feet and then coming back into a downward facing dog slowly, working through those muscles once again. Drop your hips back down and come into Chaturanga Dandasana and press into an upward facing dog and then slowly flip your feet back and send your hips up into another downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out and then get ready to come in again, dropping your hips back down into plank, moving through Chaturanga Dandasana, pressing into upward facing dog, and then coming back into a downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale, coming back to your breath, and then get ready to raise your heels all the way up, bend your knees, look forward, and step your feet up to the front of your mat, coming to a forward fold. Prepare to come up to standing with a straight back, bringing your arms out and up, reaching up towards the sky, and then slowly resting your hands down by your side. Staying into Dasana, rotate your arms out and raise them up towards the ceiling on an inhale. Exhale, fold your torso over your legs. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend back down. Coming up to standing with a straight spine, bring your arms out and up. And exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Clasp your hands together at the small of your back and then open your shoulders, arching your upper back slightly, looking up. Allow your heart center to open towards the ceiling, then unclasp your hands. Rotate your arms out and up. Exhale, release down into a forward fold. Inhale, press up into a half forward fold. Exhale, press back down. Coming up to standing once again with a straight spine, arms out and up. Reaching up and then releasing your hands down. Clasp your hands together once again behind you and looking up, arching your back. Release the clasp and then bring your hands back down. Rotate your arms out and up once again, looking upward. And on your exhale, fold your torso over your legs into a forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up. Exhale, fold back down. Take an inhale and on your exhale, step back into a downward facing dog pressing your hands and feet into the floor and sending your hips up towards the ceiling and back. Settle here for a moment in downward facing dog. Take a few deep inhales and exhales and then get ready to raise your right leg up behind you. Step it forward in between your hands and dropping your left knee down, untucking your left toe and pressing into the floor with your right foot as you come up into a low lunge. Start with your hands on your thigh and then raise your arms up reaching up towards the sky, palms facing each other. Clasp your hands together, leaving your index and your thumb out, and come into an arch, reaching your heart center up towards the sky. Keep reaching up and back with your hands and the top of your head. Your heart is reaching up as well, and you're pressing down through your legs at the same time. Unclasp your hands, release your arms down, framing your foot. Tuck your back toe and then step right back into a downward facing dog. Settling here for a moment, raise your heels all the way up and bend your knees, look forward and walk your feet up to the front of your mat into a forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana and exhale, Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, straighten your spine and stand up, reaching up with your arms and then slowly bring your hands down by your sides. Raise your arms back up towards the ceiling and then grab your right wrist with your left hand. Tilt over to the left, stretching the right side of your body, keeping your feet and hips even, and then come back up to center, switching sides. Grab your left wrist and tilt over to the right, stretching the left side of your body, and then coming back to center. Clasp your hands together, and then leaving your index and your thumb out, looking up, arch your back, and then slowly coming back up to center, releasing the clasp, and bringing your hands down by your sides. Take a deep inhale and exhale here into Dasana. And then rotate your arms all the way out and raise them up towards the sky on an inhale. Exhale, fold your torso over your legs into a forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees and step back into a downward facing dog. Stay here for a moment and then raise your left heel all the way up, lifting your left leg behind you. Step it forward in between your hands, coming into a lunge. Drop your right knee down onto the floor, untuck your toe. Ground down through your left foot and bring your torso up, bringing your hands to your thighs. Get ready to bring your arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing each other, and settle down into your low lunge as you reach up with your hands. Clasp your hands together above you, index and thumb out, and arch your back. 
Open your chest, reach your heart up towards the sky, and keep grounding down through your legs. Slowly coming back up to center, releasing the clasp. Frame your foot with your hands. Tuck your back toe and step into a downward facing dog. Breathe here, come back to your breath. Settle in your down dog into a moment of stillness here. And then send your hips down into a plank pose. And slowly lower your body in one straight line down onto the floor until you reach the ground. Untuck your toes. Bring your forehead to the floor and leave your hands down by your sides, straightening your arms. Coming into Shalabhasana, reaching your hands and your feet back, and your head comes up into an arch as if you're flying, reaching energy in your feet and your hands and your head. They're all reaching upward and you're arching your back here. One more final reach and then slowly coming back down onto the floor and you can rest your left cheek on the ground by turning your head. Stay here for a moment and come back to your breath. Inhaling through your nose, releasing it back out, resting for one more moment. Coming into Shalabhasana one more time. Bring your forehead back onto the mat and on your next inhale, reach your hands and your feet backwards, reaching your head up and forwards and arching, really strongly arching your back, working the backs of your legs as well. Slowly come back down to the floor and now you can rest your right cheek on the floor by turning your head to the left. Come back to your breath for a moment. Begin to deeply inhale and exhale as you rest on the ground. Getting ready now to turn your head back to center, bringing your forehead to the floor. Grab your ankles and the outer edges of your feet. Getting ready to come up into Dhanurasana or bow pose. On your next inhale, arch your back, holding onto your ankles. Allow your arms to reach backwards, opening the fronts of your shoulders, doing most of the work with your back as you arch. And then lower your shoulders and your face back down onto the floor, keeping hold of your ankles. And once again, you can turn your head towards the right, resting your left cheek on the floor. Bring your forehead back down onto the floor in front of you. Hold onto those ankles, getting ready to come up once again into bow pose. Arching your back, looking forward and up, reaching up through the crown of your head, opening your front shoulders, and then slowly releasing down, switching sides by turning your head towards the left and resting your right cheek on the floor, keeping hold of your ankles. We'll come up into bow pose one more time. So just breathe here for a moment, settling back down, getting ready, turn your forehead back down onto the floor, and coming up one more time into Dhanurasana on your inhale, energetically arching up through your back muscles and your hamstring muscles as well, or reaching upward, fronts of your shoulders are opening, and then slowly releasing back down. And you can release your hands from your feet, pressing back, sit back onto your heels, touch your toes together first, then sit back onto your heels, and relax your torso over into a child's pose, this time bringing your hands down by your sides and coming to the tops of your hands onto the floor. Rest here for a few deep inhales and exhales, coming back to your breath and your center, regulating the pace of your breath, regulating it back to a normal tempo, and allow yourself to relax here for a moment. Come back up to a seated position and bring your feet together, knees out to the side, Baddha Konasana. Slowly fold your torso over towards your feet and relax here in a forward fold, releasing your neck and your spine over completely. Give yourself a moment here to unwind before you start your day. If you'd like to bring your elbows to your knees and help them down towards the floor with your arms, you can do so now. If not, you can just stay where you are. But this just gets a bit deeper into your hips and your inner thighs and gives you a bit more of a stretch in that area of your body. Take one more deep inhale and exhale in this pose and slowly bring your torso back upright, stretching your legs out to the side into Upabhista Konasana, keeping your feet flexed sitting up tall, 
and then slowly bend your torso down towards the ground, looking downward and relax here in a forward fold, allowing your legs to stretch and your back to stretch as well, continuing to deepen your breath, just unwinding for a moment and settling your thoughts, preparing your mind and your body for a energized and productive day ahead. Slowly bring your torso back upright, walking your hands in towards your body. Stretching over now to the left, bring your arm up and over. Keep those hips even on the floor and just stretch your torso, lightly resting your hand, your left hand, on top of your left leg. Slowly coming back upright and switching sides, stretching over to the right now. Lifting your left arm up and over on the diagonal and your right arm is lightly resting on your right leg as you're breathing over to the side. Slowly coming back upright with your torso and bring your arm down, bringing your legs in and cross your shins in front of you. Sitting up tall, trying not to sit on our tailbone. Bring your hands to your knees and close your eyes. Deeply inhale through your nose and release it back out through your nose in the same way, focusing your attention on your breath and continue to breathe deeply. Give yourself a moment of gratitude. Thank yourself for taking the time out this morning to practice yoga and begin to feel more energized and ready to start your day and move through your day in an energetic and productive way. I hope you enjoyed this sequence. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.